You're probably here because you know what you want, but something is holding you back. Or the something that's holding you back is just so strong, you can't even think about wants and needs. Either way, you want to make a change. But something inside stands between you and that change. Now, we can tolerate this temporarily, but ultimately we reach our tipping point and we just have to act. Else we limit our success and we cap our contribution. So the question becomes, how do we move past our internal blockers? Inner resistance is incredibly common. It can absolutely be a challenge, but it's also totally surmountable. If you're willing to work with it, and if we introduce a little bit of process and a little bit of structure, which is what this session and company in PDF is all about. Now, the fact that you're here tells us you're up for the work. And I want you just to imagine for a moment moving forward completely free of any resistance. How good will that feel? And what becomes possible when you're back into that free flowing state? So let's do this work. I'm going to share a few ideas now to get you thinking and reflecting. And we're going to look at fears, beliefs, labels, limits, thoughts, and behaviors. And then I'd love you to download the accompanying PDF. It's super quick and super to the point. And then use that to collect your thoughts and gather your insights. Now, we'll also email you a copy of that PDF so that it's just in your toolkit forevermore. And in that email, there'll be a link to part two of this session in which we'll talk about best next steps to build a plan and take action on your insights. So make sure you come back to watch that. So let's get started. And I'm going to move through these relatively quickly, but then I'd love you to go grab the accompanying PDF and you can give yourself some proper thinking time. And the first thing I invite you to think about are the fears at play. Our resistance is most often fueled by a fear. Fear of failure, fear of success, fear of mediocrity, fear of exclusion. And if you stay in your head, you're dead. So let's get clear on the fears at play and get them down on paper. What scares you about making a change? What are the fears at play here? Get them out of your head and down on paper. The next point of resistance I invite you to work with are the limiting beliefs that are coming up for you. A limiting belief is any thought that creates a feeling of certainty in a way that restricts and limits us. And these beliefs serve some deep-rooted purpose, else we wouldn't continue to believe them. But they come at the cost of our potential and of our success. So what are you believing about yourself that makes this a challenge? And what decisions have you made about who you are and what you're capable of or what you deserve that now creates a block between where you are and where you want to be? And let's think now about labels. We spend our life attaching labels to ourselves, using them to explain who we are and what we do. It's just part of our natural language. But labels become one word stories that keep us stuck. So what labels do you need to detach from? What are some of the labels that are maybe keeping you stuck to a former self that no longer serves? And now let's review the upper limits that you've set for yourself. There's only a certain amount of happiness and success we seem to allow ourselves to feel. And this is our upper limit, which is an idea coined by Gay Hendricks in his book, The Big Leap. And we set these limits for a variety of reasons. Perhaps we think it's all we deserve. Maybe we're worried about outshining others or disrespecting our roots. Perhaps it invites spotlight and attention, which might bring criticism and attack. And so we take non-conscious actions to avoid hitting or exceeding our upper limits. So where and how have you set and imposed upper limits on yourself? What amount of good have you decided you're deserving of or that you're comfortable having in your life? Okay, so where are we so far? Fears, beliefs, labels, limits. The next thing I want to ask you is what do you notice about how you're doing the thinking about this upcoming change? It's never so much reality that holds us back as how we think about reality. And when we start to develop the skill of metacognition, so that is thinking about the thinking, we can start to rewire our brain to move past our points of resistance. So what do you notice about how you think about making a change? Are you problem rather than solution focused? Are you stuck in the weeds rather than thinking expansively? Are you more aware of what you lack than what you desire? And is your focus unhelpfully on yourself rather than on those whom you serve? So what patterns of thought have you made a habit that are also helping to keep you stuck? And finally, let's notice the obstructive behaviors that block your progress. 
So far, we've looked at thought-based resistance, but our resistance also shows up in our patterns of behavior. Self-sabotage is a non-conscious behavior designed to satisfy some unmet need, the need not to feel undeserving, not to have to prove oneself, not to be excluded. So what are your go-to strategies for self-sabotage? In the accompanying PDF, you'll find 10 suggestions. Please tick all that apply. And feel free to notice some of your own. But here's my list. Procrastination, perfectionism, uprooting, justification, judgment, disorganization, discounting, overthinking, busyness, and time spent with the wrong people. What are some of your go-to strategies for keeping yourself stuck? So, through the six lenses of fears, beliefs, labels, limits, thoughts, and behaviors, I invite you to lean in to your inner resistance. Get clear on what it is that's holding you back and how you've been non-consciously choosing to stay where you are. And this is going to be transformative because these points of resistance are also your gateway to getting back into flow. So please do go grab the accompanying PDF. Make sure you come back to watch part two. And in that, we'll build your platform for moving forward.